Hello, welcome back to the next episode of the Tattooed Curry Geezer. It's New Year's Day. Happy New Year everyone. Let's hope this year's better than the last one. Can't be any worse. Right, tonight I'm doing something I've never done before. A chicken chat masala. Uh, okay, it's a starter. But I'm doing it as a main course for me and her indoors. So it's either going to be four starters or two mains. It's up to you how you take that. But it's my first ever attempt. I'm looking forward to it because... The ingredients are amazing. A lad on my Facebook page, Stephen, good lad, he asked me to look into it. I've done it and I've got all the ingredients and I'm looking forward to that. Right, New Year's Day. Okay, here we go then. This is the recipe for my first ever attempt. It's also my first ever try because I've never tasted it before. It's a chicken chat masala. So, that's all the ingredients, my three powders, mixed chat masala and kashmiri, oil and butter ghee mixed. I am going to leave the, I'm going to put two chilies in but I'm going to leave them whole to make sure I get them. Ginger garlic paste, slithers of cucumber, chopped up garlic, purely optional, I like garlic, I'll put extra in. Honey, tomato paste, tomatoes, sugar, spring onion coriander, lemon to go in, tomato for garnish, lemon for garnish and of course the fabulous chicken tikka. My base gravy is just defrosting so we'll be cracking it. Oh and a pint for Dazza because it is New Year's Day. Uh, right let's crack on. Okay base gravy is ready, pans on so we're going in with butter ghee and oil mix Hope you're watching, Stephen. Where's my wooden spoon? Got everything ready except the wooden spoon. My old faithful. All right, just let that warm up and melt for a minute. All right, that's the oil warm. Straight in with the onions. Just chop them, you don't have to dice them, you know, just like that, that's fine like that. That's actually half an onion. Um, a bit of a confession, I think I've said one onion on the recipe, but you only need half an onion. Right, just soften that up for a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm going in with two whole chilies. I'm putting them in whole, so I make sure that I get them both on my plate. It's better to chop them, dice them. Slither them, whatever you want to do to them. But obviously, Natasha is a former tikka masala, Cassandra kind of gal, so no heat allowed, I'm afraid. Right, ginger garlic paste. Plenty of that. I've also mixed up a few cloves of garlic. Just love garlic. That's optional. If you like garlic, add loads. Entirely your choice. Right, try that off now for a couple of minutes. Don't burn the garlic. Right, just starting to catch a little bit now. So, half a label of base gravy. I'm on electric, so I do tend to put it in the middle. Always make sure your base gravy is warm. You don't want to cool the temperature too much in the pan. Lovely. Right, the three powders. <clears throat> so I've got my mixed powder, Kashmiri chili powder, and the chat masala powder. Now there's salt and pepper in there, which is why I'm not using salt and pepper. But if you like salt and pepper, then add salt and pepper. But I will be having a little taste near the end just to see if it needs any. Right, a little bit more base gravy. We're not going too silly with the base gravy on this. So that's about 50 ml. Give it a quick mix in.
and just let the base gravy do its thing for a minute or two. I'm on a seven out of 10 heat, by the way. And remember, this is a double portion or four starters. <clears throat> right, just always keep your eye on it. It's quite dry dish, so we don't have to go too silly with the base gravy. But if it does start catching, then add some. Right, tomato paste. So that's tomato puree watered down. Topped up tomatoes. There's about one and a half in there. A little bit of sugar, because we got a sweet tooth. Which is stuck to the ramekin thingy bowl. Stir and shake. Right, looking good. Actually smells amazing, I'll just mention that. I don't know if it's the butter ghee or um, this chat masala, which I've never used before. It does smell really good. Right, in with the chicken. Pre-cooked chicken tikka. I have done a video for this, so if you want to know how I do it, then have a little search on my other videos. In fact, while you're there searching, why don't you subscribe, hit the bell, then you'll never miss one of my videos. I've actually done one a day since Christmas. It's now New Year's Day. As you can hear Bono in the background, telling you that. Beautiful. Right, tablespoon of clear honey. Purely optional, if I can open the jar. Love it. Stir it in to get it all off the spoon. Oh yes. Nice and sweet. Pinch of coriander leaves. Couple of tomatoes. Oh, I've already put them in. What are you on about? Oh yeah, look. There they are. Right, give all that a good stir in. Right, squirt of lemon juice. A few sprigs of spring onion. Cucumber. What? Cucumber? In an Indian curry? Cucumber? Oh yes. Oh yes. Right, we're not cooking the cucumber, we're just mixing it in, because we're finished. Look at that. Thank you, Stephen. I think we're gonna enjoy this. My new best friend. <laughs> right, time to dish it out. I've also done a raita, raita, raita. It's basically a cucumber one with a few added red pepper, a little sliver, cut up, a bit of coriander, plenty of um, cucumber in there. Oh yes, so easy to make. It's only chopped up cucumber with natural yoghurt. Simples. Well, 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 there we have it. I'll tell you what, that looks absolutely amazing. There's your chicken chat masala. Bit of garnish with a lemon, tomato, coriander and spring onion. I've also done a Bombay Alu. I did that the other day. So I've just quickly warmed that up with a bit of garnish. No rice because I'm cheating, but we are having chapatis. So there we go. Chicken chat masala. Beautiful, there's Natasha's. Absolutely gorgeous. So please, if you like what I do, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram. I'm not hard to miss, the Tattooed Curry Geezer. Look at that. Subscribe to this channel, hit the bell. I'm total amateur, as you can tell by the kitchen, the way I cook, my camera woman. Ow! Oh, she's got the arm. Right, well, Happy New Year, everybody. We're off for some nosh. Tattooed Curry Geezer.